Hey everyone, I'm Jamie from Homeschool Story and I had a friend that was asking me to show her my challenge notebooks and how I had set them up for my son and I couldn't get the video to text her so I thought I would just go ahead and do another live video since other people might want to see some ideas too. Um, there are certainly all kinds of different ways and we've changed them over our years in challenge but I'll just show you kind of what we do and maybe that'll give you a good idea for a starting point to organize um, with your kids. Um, what we do is he has his notebook for his challenge guide, but I actually don't have the entire guide in here. So what this is, is um, I have, like we use the homeschool planners that I make, but anything that you would use, you can put in here if you want. So we have the monthly calendars in the front so we can kind of see the whole year, um, schedule our weeks off if they were going on vacation or anything like that. Then I have um, 1 through 15 tabs, so this would run for each semester. And in each tab, what I have, let's see if we can find a good one, um, is the page from his challenge guide that contains the work that's due that week that he needs to be working on at home. Um, I do know that they've updated the challenge guides. I haven't seen the new ones, but I do think that one of the features is the fact that it used to be that one side might be one week and the other side might start the next week and that was kind of a, a hassle and I think they stopped that now. So anyway, so I take this page from the challenge guide and I put it behind the tab that goes with the week. Then we can see everything that needs to be done for the week at home um, and check those off, but I don't check them off first. So we just look at them and then he sits down. This is a bad week because I've kind of torn his calendar apart. Hold on, I think we could have that calendar. So you have the week from the challenge guide and then I have a two-page spread <laughs> of a planner. It's falling apart. Um, a two-page spread of a planner. Let's find another one. So there's his weeks. And then I can't find it. Two-page spread of a planner. There we go. That one's not falling apart. So then he looks at the page from the challenge guide that's right there, decides what work needs to be done when, and organizes his week. Sometimes I, you know, do that with him. He does it with me sitting down so I can kind of see how he arranges it. Then as he works through the week, you can see all his scribbles. He marks everything off. At the end of our week, like the night before our CC day, so he meets on Thursday. So Wednesday evening, I sit down with his notebook and I say, show me your work. And we go through these checklists um, that of all the things that he needs to have done before he goes back to class and I check off and make sure that everything's done. So that's kind of how we work. So there's the one through 15 tabs, the page from the challenge guide, followed by his calendar. In the front, he liked to just put the work that he was gonna have to like kind of show his challenge director in the front. But um, another option that we used to do as well, it was behind this was, were tabs for all of the subjects. And then he could keep his work in each subject tab, so. He's now switched to having individual small notebooks for each subject. So this is actually a spiral that, it's really a spiral, but it doesn't look like a spiral and it has dividers built in, so that's kind of nice. Um, this one is kind of, feels like a spiral, but it's really a three hole type of binder, which is nice because you can pop these little plastic guys off and take paper in and out but it's not bulky like a three-ring binder, um, so that's nice. And it comes with these nice plastic dividers that have pockets and things. So he ended up switching, so each subject had one of these. So that's how we do it. Hope that helps. 